a concrete Lenin, a monument to the hope of Krupski, one of Lenin's subordinates, and military leader Kovpak are all examples of Soviet-era propaganda planned to be displayed in the newly instated Museum of Soviet Monument Propaganda in Kiev, Ukraine. They have all been removed from their previous places as part of Ukraine's policy of decommunization. For now, they're stored in a city warehouse. We don't break or melt down these things. We save them as much as we can right next to the construction materials. That's not their place. This is part of our history. Really, it would be nice to give these pieces their own places. That's the idea for the Museum of Soviet Monument Propaganda, says Kyiv City Council Secretary Vladimir Prokopiev. He's one of the founders of the museum. It will be set on the grounds of the Expo Center Ukraine, which contains many other preserved Soviet buildings and artifacts. The museum will cover two hectares of space. In place of the old fountain will be a pedestal, where visitors will be able to take photographs of themselves with symbols of the totalitarian regime. The idea is that this will become an interesting option for tourists to visit. The museum plans to collect the best examples of Soviet monuments from all over Ukraine. The most important criteria is the quality of the art or cultural significance. It will even take the largest monuments. This memorial from Zaporizhia has a length of 20 meters, including the base. Its dismantling was watched by the entire world, and its future was discussed with complete transparency. The residents of the city agreed to transfer it to a Kiev museum. One of the first exhibits will feature a memorial to Red Army Division Commander Mikola Shores, a hero of the Russian Revolution. His memorial will still need to be dismantled. The memorial of Mikola Shores is located in the center of Kiev and is renowned as one of the best horse-mounted statues not only in the post-Soviet world but in all of Europe. It's been repeatedly vandalized. Only last spring a leg was broken from the horse. Now it's been repaired. Experts believe that the Communist Propaganda Museum will be able to save this and other sculptures regarded as masterpieces of the communist period. Artists have called on saving notable communist memorials and monuments. They say that some priceless works of art have already been destroyed. One of the best memorials is the leader of the global proletariat, and this monument of London wasn't only shown in Kiev and Ukraine. Masterful, professional work was made out of semi-precious Carolean granite. At the end, 30 separate monuments were shown in an expo in New York, and four years ago they were destroyed. Europe has a few museums of the type planned in Kiev. A private park in Lithuania is one of the largest, funded by a local millionaire. The future Soviet museum wants to be the best of its kind in Europe. It plans to gain national status. While we were developing the plan, we realized that the scope we want cannot happen without the help of the government. Many memorials have the national status. Without the approval of the cabinet of ministers, we won't be able to transfer them. The future museum of Soviet monument propaganda will become one of the top 10 tourist destinations in Kiev, say the founders. They add that the project isn't cheap, but will run around 2 million US dollars. It will be financed partially by the government and partially privately. It will take about a year and a half to complete.